What a difference a day can make after mass flight cancellations. TF Green Airport looking good tonight. Ripta was down to just a single route detour this Sunday. Again, coastal areas were in the snow bullseye and have the most work to do today. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin has been live all weekend with breaking news one. She's in New Bedford now with, the, with more on the snow removal. Caroline. Well, Jared, it's a serene night along the water here at New Bedford, but there are signs that southeastern Massachusetts was battered by yesterday's storm, and they're everywhere. One of the most telling signs, snow piles like this one behind me, they are scattered throughout the city of New Bedford tonight, but there's also those signs of cleanup. One of those signs of cleanup are these boats. They are completely immaculate after more than a foot of snow fell in New Bedford yesterday, but leave the marina and signs of cleanup are all along the city. Snow in the city means crews on the go. You're a kid, you think sledding. When you're a mayor, you think, oh no, we're going to be up all night. New Bedford Mayor John Mitchell says his crews were up all night long as a lot of snow fell in a very short period of time. We go into it almost like we're preparing for a football game. There's a lot of preparation involved to check the equipment. Uh, there are decisions that are made along the way that have consequences. Uh, and then once we're out there, you got to play the game. Mitchell says his team scored a win this weekend, plowing curb to curb, monitoring conditions minute by minute. He says equipment upgrades like new trucks also helps the plowing process. And we have GPS on the vehicles, which allows us to do a number of things, including when people call up and say, you know, the, the plow hasn't been down our streets, we can say, well, it was down on your street at, at 3 a.m. and it was there for, for 20 seconds. Now it's time to look ahead to Monday, meaning back to work and back to school. And that's where the mayor offers one last piece of advice. Clean off those snowy sidewalks. The more people can do to just get out and clear the way for, for kids especially, but for everybody, would be really appreciated. And the parking ban that was over the city of New Bedford was lifted at around 5 o'clock this evening. Mayor Mitchell tells me that 500 parking tickets were issued this weekend. 100 cars were towed because of that ban. He says he doesn't like to issue these tickets or tow these cars, but they need to have these types of bans in effect in order to make sure emergency vehicles can drive on the road safely. Live in New Bedford tonight with Breaking News 1, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.